Well, UT has a fantastic reputation as an engineering school. I did my PhD here, so I'm familiar with uh, the excellence from, from first-hand experience. Uh, I've been in industry for many years, for about 13 years after my PhD, doing industrial uh, research and development, and that was a lot of fun. But I wanted the opportunity to do a couple of other things. One was to teach students, to really mentor the next generation of engineers, and uh, the place to do that is in a university. And doing it in a great university, at University of Toronto, is, is obviously a fantastic opportunity. The other thing uh, that I wanted was the ability to do longer term, more speculative research, things that could uh, maybe be not yield immediate economic benefits or results for five or ten years but have the possibility of yielding huge results. And that's more of a challenge to do in industry uh, and easier to do at a university like University of Toronto. So those two things, the ability to mentor the next generation of students and to work on longer range, really speculative research what attracted me back here. The energy of the students is, is always uplifting, they're eager to learn, they have lots of new ideas, they have a passion for what they're doing, and that's a lot of fun to see and really kind of gives you energy in the morning. Um, my colleagues are brilliant and drawn from a diverse set of backgrounds, have a very diverse set of research fields, uh, both within electrical and computer engineering, and I've been able to uh, start collaborating with some other academics in the university. Uh, for example, uh, Dr. Lothar Lilk. Uh, a researcher in the Department of Medical Biophysics uh, and I are collaborating on a project to try to make cancer therapy better. And that's really linking to quite disparate fields. His knowledge of a certain type of cancer therapy called photodynamic cancer therapy, where uh, this therapy is a more targeted form of chemotherapy because the, the drugs that will destroy the cancer cells, uh, or if they're in the wrong spot, healthy cells, are photoactivated. So only where they're activated by light will they destroy cells. So the goal is to activate them only by the tumor so that the tumor is destroyed and healthy tissue damage is minimized. And there's a computational aspect to this which is where uh, myself and the grad student that I'm uh, supervising come in. How can we model where the light is going to go in a complex part of the human body so that we could uh, create a treatment plan that really optimizes the placement of light sources so that we destroy a tumor with minimal damage to the patient. Uh, and that requires a huge amount of computation where what myself and a, a graduate student in ECE are bringing is knowledge of how to use hardware to accelerate that computation. So that's an exciting collaboration. I think it's a good example of what you can do in a university, and especially a great university like University of Toronto. It's very difficult to do uh, elsewhere because how do you make those links?